morning. So, I was um, up this morning, went on the Book of Faces, because of course, right? It was interesting. And I just happened to re go on this one, just scrolling through the news feed, saw this one from um, Lad Bibble, Lad Bibble, I don't know what the fuck it's pronounced. Talking about Benedict Cumberpatch, and he would play Doctor Strange, and starred in the queer baiting show Sherlock, where, honestly, like, I don't know, that show would have been probably way more interesting, like, I, like, first of all, I like the queer baiting thing, like, I like anything where it's tension romance, where you never really see them get together, but you can imagine in your head, oh my god, that's just, for me, I, I find that absolutely intriguing, it, 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 like, that stirs my brain, it does get frustrating, it, it's like, it's, it's like, watching a femboy, in a really cute outfit, like, I don't know, I, I watched this one guy watching a fan boy once in an outfit, and he was just kept being like, lift the skirt, lift the skirt, but the dude wouldn't lift the skirt, so he raged and threw a table, and I, as a woman, do not understand what that translates to. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand why he had to flip the table, because the dude wouldn't lift the skirt. I was completely fucking confused i if a man can explain that to me because i still don't know the answer like it was in a short too so i don't know where it is i can never find it again i have no idea what it was titled i don't even know what was going on in it i just know a man was angry because another man wouldn't lift the skirt and i and i don't understand as a woman what that even means or maybe I'm just very naive in the brain. I don't know. But either way. Um, they were talking about Benedict Cumberpatch. And how his family's wealth was probably accumulated from slavery and Barbados. Which literally I was talking about last night. But it was the demon, not the actual country. But this is the country we're referencing, right? Um, is wanting to sue him for slave reparations. Because his family gained generational wealth from it. Which is what we're talking about today. Generational wealth. What is that? Why do you want it? And what could it be used for? Have you ever heard of the term or, or, the, or the phrase or the saying, sins of the father? Um, now, see, a lot of times I, I've heard people on the internet, right? Different places, not just YouTube, not just Facebook, but other areas where they talk about generational wealth, right? That's a fucking trap. Because first off, if you don't have kids, why the fuck are you trying to build generational wealth to begin with? Second off, who's going to pay once you get that wealth? Because wealth is a plethora of things. Wealth doesn't necessarily mean money. Wealth can be like good health, uh, talents, longevity, vitality, youthful looks, um, lack of illnesses, good teeth, shit like that. Wealth could be a, a, a numerous amount of things. But... Why does that look green? I don't know why that looks green. It's probably because of the lighting. Um, but generational wealth is one of those things you really have to be careful of. Because, like, normally wealth is something that is attached to something completely fucking different. Like, whatever it is, a method that helps you get to that wealth, whatever it is. And we'll just go with the money. Because I, apparently that's what most people assume wealth is. The more likely a chance that there's going to be something that would pull you in order to take that away from you. Um, you know. For example, generational wealth could be you could create generation after generation, right? Generational wealth to me means you just are able to reproduce. Because eventually your line might be able to create a wealth of people like you're like you are the bringer of all of these fucking kids you had 12 kids you might be catholic i don't know i like i don't know why but like i grew up knowing jokes about catholics and they always had a lot of kids that and the homage and i don't understand that either so someone's gonna have to explain that to me too is there something that i should know about because it's weird it's just like when white people have a bunch of kids they're catholic or amish but if black people have kids uh and, and like they don't rep they don't respect the the unions and shit. I don't I don't fucking know. It's it's weird, <sighs> you know, <sighs> because there's a man around. All of a sudden, all these all these kids running around. It's okay. Oh, oh all right. <sighs> I guess that's cool. <laughs> you know. At least that's how I feel. Yeah. But 
generational wealth can also just mean you make a bunch of kids. You're wealthy with children or some shit like that. Which is important. Because the only way you actually come back into this world is if you reproduce. Which I don't think most people realize. Um, when you have kids, your kids are the next generation. They carry a fragment of you, right? So your fragment could go down throughout all the generations. And someday, maybe somebody will activate that fragment. And all of a sudden, they will inhabit your conscious. And they will operate within the realms of you. Or it's just going to be somebody who's born with the same... They're a copy. They're a fake tomato, basically. Uh, but that fake tomato can be activated to operate as a real tomato. Or act like the tomato they were copied after. Or even be a fragment of that copy. And eventually even act as the original if they are not the original. I mean, like, it, it all develops some way. But the main gist is, um, you'll keep rotating in this fucking reality if you have kids. If you so choose. Unless, unless, like, you happen to do what I do and created a failsafe before you came here. Um, whether you realized it or not. Yeah, like, for me, it was like an Emily the Strange kind of thing, right? Where it was like, I didn't understand what the fuck I was doing here. And then for a minute, I remembered. And then I zapped my own memory away. Because if I remember everything without getting everything done first, um, I'm going to fuck it up, I realize. So, for me, my killing joke is interesting, but I gotta get whatever I need done, done first, and then other things will come later. Um, freeing myself. Now, the issue with generational wealth, in, in the form of a Benedict Cumberpatch, right, is that apparently his generational wealth came from the backs of slaves, and then when reparations started coming around and they wanted people to get rid of slaves, I'm not sure how it worked in his area or whatever, but in America what happened was they wanted slave workers to get rid of slaves, so they paid them and gave them tax breaks. That way they could get rid of the slaves. So even then, the slaves got nothing, and the owners were getting benefits off of them. That's why a lot of people who have a lot of money today um, are rich. That nepotism, right? So keep that in mind. That's why That's why being rich to me, it, like you'll have a better chance of passing a camel through a, an eye of a needle than being a rich person in this energy today. Because a lot of people who are rich got that from um, somebody else. One way or another. And in this regard, uh, Benedict Cumberpatch's uh, family line apparently might have had direct contact with that shit. And that whole sins of the father thing that a lot of people will sit there and believe that this is an absolutely ridiculous thing. This is a leftist thing or whatever. And it's just like, you realize it's been since, what, 40, 50 years ago in Canada and in Australia where the Aboriginal people even get the right to vote now and even still, like, they're going through some Rosa Parks shit where they'll rip the shit right in front of them. They're still having issues. Like, do you realize that there were a lot of kids back in the 60s and the 70s who were ripped from their family, beaten, raped, murdered, and had their entire heritage stripped away from them? Uh... Like, my mother could have been one of those kids. Do you understand? Like, my mother is, like, almost 70 years old, and she grew up in that era. My father, um, he was in high school when they finally ended segregation. This was not, like, something that was a while ago. And this isn't mainly about a black or white thing as much as it is a principle. But although most people would listen to this and, 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 and be like, oh, that's a black bitch talking about racism. And it, well, yeah, it is. But there, it, but it's a point to it. I'm not actually, like, pointing out the races. I'm pointing out the uh, history, you know, because like, it's not just black people who were slaves. It's just people with melanin, for the most part that uh, became slaves. And mind you, uh, melanin is not just the complexion, it's what causes the complexion, if you will. Um, like, it's in you, it's not on you, you cannot scrub it off, in the word of the of the wise sage, T.Y.P. Cam. Go check him out, because he's fucking, I, I love his reactions, he's cool. You gotta go to his website, though. Because his website's got the goods. Like, are you mad about the censorship? Well, that's too damn bad. Go listen to his shit on his website it's so much it, it, it's so much more like relaxing to go somewhere where you know you can see something that you're not allowed to see on, on mainstream shit it's just like oh boy i finally have something which mind you that shit's gonna end in like 10 years by the way they're trying to make this shit into television because they know that like 
television isn't going to be useful anymore. Um, they know that our generation pays attention more on uh, things where they know it's harder to touch us. Like, so just be prepared. There's not going to be much freedom. You know, once money starts getting into play on shit, you're not going to win with this internet shit. Like, they don't want people to say what they want to say. They don't want you to know half the shit you want to know. Um, and let's be clear, YouTube just put this whole thing out right now where it's like, cursey words will get you probably demonetized. Which, you know, I thought that was a weird thing anyway, because I always assumed, like, the first minute of a video, um, you shouldn't say anything too terribly hard. But now I guess it's within the first eight seconds if you say something really fucked up, uh, you will be strictly demonetized. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, why would that be, knowing that, like, a lot of people on YouTube, it's supposed to be videos for you? That's how it originally started. Well, because television networks. Television wants to be on YouTube because it sees what YouTube is doing. YouTube does not want regular people such as myself and you on here. They want consumers and they want to get out of this whole thing where they got to keep supporting everybody else just to keep their business going. They would rather deal with people who have just as much money as they do, if not more, than the average Joe, despite the fact that we are getting them somewhere. But the problem with YouTube is... Um, <clears throat> That's not going to work because YouTube will literally kill itself um, by giving its power to somebody else. Like, watch. YouTube will probably try to make deals and they're going to end up having to sell the entire company. And the company is not going to be anything that it was supposed to be or what they assumed was going to be. Uh, all of these policies will change um, for the better at some point. But that's only once YouTube decides to, well, axe itself. Without even realizing it. You know, making a deal with the devil and then being upset that you have to pay your dues. Kind of shit, right? Same kind of shit. So with generational wealth, there, there, like, for me, there are certain things that, um... Generational wealth, to me, is a distraction and a trap that people, I think, regularly fall for because you know everybody's in this energy of I want to get out of the hole I want to make myself somebody I want to do something with myself and it's just like for what what the fuck are you going to do on this planet that nobody else has already done you know how many storylines are on this planet billions billions and unfortunately ideas such as um generational wealth builds up this almost imposter syndrome or a main character syndrome in people and they tend to forget that they're not the only person on this planet. And when people are on the road to gain wealth, to gain power, to gain status, um, they forget where they came from. Which most of us tend to do once we start getting somewhere with ourselves. We forget where we come from. And that's where the generational wealth will end up fucking you up. Because once you forget where you came from, um, you forget what life was like without this shit. And then once you forget what life was like without this shit, you will make any and all excuses to continue on with it. You will take on everybody. You will argue with people. You will be hostile with people. Even people who are generally trying to help you. You will forget all of that on this quest for this generational wealth um, that people speak so endearly of, yet realize there is always going to be a cost with that. Because let's be clear, when you have stuff, people want to be a looting. People want to loot. People will loot your ass. They will loot you like a bard with a loot. Just play the fuck out of you, right? That's why lottery tickets and the Powerball are dangerous. Because when people find out you have money all of a sudden, you got cousins that you didn't even know you had. Like, which, which says something about, like, if you're black and you win the Powerball, do you know any cousins you're going to have? All of them. Each and every one of them. Oh, I, I know I look light-skinned, but that's just from Aunt Mabel's side. I don't got an Aunt Mabel. Well, you do now. Hi, I'm Aunt Mabel. That's uh, that's literally what happens. It's like everybody wants to be your wealth. Everyone wants to come after you. Everybody wants to be close to you. And if we all remember correctly, the only time people really want something from us is when they know that they can use us, right? But people want that generational wealth. And what are you going to do with that generational wealth once you get it, right? Like, that's the real question I have for motherfuckers who are attaining this shit. What are you going to do with it? 
Because I'll see a lot of motherfuckers, my own people, who have money, and they spend it on Rolexes. They spend it on cars. They spend it on fashion. They spend it on fucking hats where they keep the sticker on and they don't want to bend the bill. And they wear it funny. They don't give a fuck about, like, protecting their eyes from the sun. It's just a style. <clears throat> Meanwhile, people who look just like them, they don't do nothing. Like, I'm just saying with my people, um, we get wealth. We use it on ourselves. We don't invest in the community, which is probably why it's a curse for us to have it to begin with. Which is probably why we stay destitute, because we have yet to learn that we need to look out for each other. Everybody else um, usually suffers something psychological or mental. Uh... It usually breaks a family. People be fighting over each other. Inheritances. You ever been at a will reading with certain people? Not. No, I'm, not I'm not talking about black people. I've, I've been there with white people with it when their families died and like the family starts doing shit and arguing and like trying to take each other to fucking court over a, a, a goddamn end table they liked from when they were five and trying to prove that it should be theirs because they drew that picture of the penguin that you didn't know was a penguin. When you looked at it, but you can kind of see it now. It's like, oh yeah, you did a good job. But that was a thousand dollar end thing. You kind of ruined the value. But it has me, and you know, it. Like you'd be surprised what people will do once they know that there's access to shit that they could possibly have. You know, people be talking about like how how motherfuckers be looting shit. Like like let's be clear, we try to loot the dead every. What are you doing, young lady? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? My hair, I swear. You know, like everyone wants to talk about looting. You ever like see what people do to each other when like one of the major people in the family dies? How everyone it becomes like a whole vulture after all of their shit. Um, generational wealth is one of those things that will actually tear a family apart if you don't teach everybody, you know, like, hey, this shit don't matter. We still need each other. You know, the nepotism is all good, but we still need that family setting, right? We still need that sense of, um, we're going to look out for each other. Which most people do not end up doing. People end up judging each other once they have things. They end up treating each other like they are below them. Like, why should I listen to you? You know? Then the trap is laid, because... Not only, like, it's like you become, like, Pablo Escobar in a prison. Like, you're just sitting there thinking, like, who's going to betray me today? And it's just like, what? Nigga, I just brought you eggs for breakfast like you asked me for. I hate sunny side art. Since fucking what? You know? <laughs> you my eggs today. Like, <laughs> like... Sorry about that. One of the bots decided to try to call in to distract me from what the fuck I was talking about. And it was just like, oh, okay, it's another one. Um, it's becoming a little more regular now. Like, whenever, like, I, it, it started to become an everyday, every time I do one of these things now. Just so everyone's aware. Um, someone doesn't like what the fuck I'm saying. And I don't know who it is. But it's just like, you're just gonna have to get over it, man. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm just putting that out there so you guys know. Um, that's why there's a break in the video, or else I wouldn't have put it together. But, uh, it, like, it, it's, there's somebody who I I believe has my number who is using something, like, like it's either an app or it's some internet thing, and they keep using West Virginia numbers to call dead numbers, specifically, um, because of the 304 in them. Rarely a 681, which is the brand new zip code of the area, and if you had a new number, or you, whatever, uh, it would have an 8, or a 681 number, but it's 304, so I know they're either dead or reuse and reissued phone numbers, uh, because if this was a real fucking phone number, it wouldn't be 304. So I'm just letting you guys know that, um, it's not telemarketers. If you get getting like phone calls, it's actually somebody who probably has your number and keeps trying to uh, utilize that number. Just so you know, like, and they want you to. And mind you, if you get one of those app things where it's supposed to be like a supposed robot killer, don't get that. Just let them keep calling your phone, because it, it requires you to do um, certain things, like turn on your location. And it's just like, what the fuck do you need my location for if they're calling me? That's the side of the point. Anyway, but yeah, you get to the point where you're Pablo Escobar. 
So, after a while, it, like, the thing with, and it's kind of like that live that I did with power, I think, a year or two ago, right? It's just like, once you get so much power, once you get so much whatever, whatever you, you get that allows you to be a little bit more unlimited with uh, what you choose to do, you forget about morals and your moral code, and then it gets to this point where it's just like, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. No one's gonna stop you, except for the fucking Lord and yourself, you know, you, it, like, the Lord can only protect you from so much, but he can't protect you from what you do to yourself, right? And eventually what happens with, is when people get wealth, when people are in a place where they are absolutely comfortable, this, uh, plateau happens, right? It's kind of like what happened to that dude, Juicy Smollett, or whatever fuck his name is, right? Where it's like, he grew up at wealthy prosperous, but he was bored because he could do whatever he wants and whatever, so he decided to stage a hate crime using men who were blacker than him, straight from the motherland. <laughs> Couldn't even pronounce them. Like, oh, right. Like, they got, they had the whole accent. They were the whole accent. He was even dating one of them, which, like, that's even worse. You use your boyfriend. fake racism which is just like kind of gross it's just like how the fuck see this is why nobody takes us seriously at all because of shit like that but no, well nobody listened to us anyway but now nobody's gonna take us seriously and listen to us which is the total combination right but shit like that happens he got so bored and he had everything in the world he could have done whatever he wanted his family came from a whole slew of activists and shit right he was popular he had a show he wasn't the best actor but god damn it he was something the arrogance from the wealth, though. The accumulation of all this stuff that was built off of accomplishments and possibly other people's backs, but we really don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on that shit because that's none of my business. Um, but all of that, everything, he had access to whatever he wanted to in the world. He had money. And he still did dumb shit. Which is something I learned about men, honestly, in almost my near... Going on 37, I'll be 37 coming up in nine days. I'll be 37. 111. That's me, 86. Um, that is the one thing I learned about men, though. Men will know that something is stupid, but they will still go and do it anyway. Like, they'll know it's stupid, but they'll still do it anyway. It's just like, okay, don't be talking about our choices then. <laughs> oh my god, I remember there was this one time I was just sitting there being like, you know, not all women do this certain thing. And it, and I remember this one guy came up and be like, well, that's why you've been single and never been married. And, and I was just like, dude, I've been married and, and I've had three kids. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, like, I was like what are you talking about? That, like, I'm digressing. I'm like venturing off. But yeah, eventually, like, a person will just start losing their moral code because that generational wealth, it doesn't mean anybody, anything to somebody who never earned it, you know, which is the whole issue with making generational wealth to begin with. Um, you can make generational wealth. You can make your entire family line wealthy. Sure, but what are they going to learn from that? Like, are you, are you sure that your kids are going to instill the same morals into their children? And are you sure your kids are, weren't smarter than you in order to get you to trust them enough? To give them all this shit just so they can scorch the earth in your name. Like, you, you remember the Waldens? No, but you know what Walmart is, don't you? That can that became completely different than what the founder originally wanted it to be, and that generation of wealthy people, whew, evil, aren't they? Could be. Some people would take them as evil. Some people maybe they don't even care. Everyone agrees that Walmart is kind of evil, yeah. But uh, mm. Mm -mm. Just wait until, like, you know, they decide they don't want to franchise that market anymore. Then what are people going to do? Where are people going to shop? You know, like, that the whole company came in and eliminated small businesses. What happens if that disappears? Did you ever think about that? No one thinks about the fact of what happens when a generational wealth is removed from the equation. When it's stripped away from the general people 
who was used to siphon that shit, right? No one thinks of that. Like, what'll happen if Walmart disappeared? Where are y'all gonna go shopping for your shit? Most of the local businesses are gone because of a Walmart in your town. There's a Walmart in almost every fucking town in America, and if it just disappeared just like that, do you know how screwed people are gonna be because they're not going to know or remember where they can get the shit they could have found at Walmart in different places? Worse, they can't get that shit because there's no local businesses around because they were all, like, put, fucking stomped to the ground by Walmarts. Everywhere. Think about that. Think Like, that's the thing about generational wealth that the mob people don't realize because that shit does last forever and it could easily take all of that wealth away and not share any of it with anybody. All of them employees would suddenly be out of a job and they wouldn't care because they got exactly what they wanted. Generational wealth can make people cruel and forget what it is to be human. It is a distraction that I, 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 I like like, for me, I would just, if I could just own a house, I'd be cool with that. Which I would prefer, honestly, because I, I, I really think that, like, at least in our family, we need one home for family to stay in, if necessary. You know, everybody in every family line needs a shelter somewhere, especially in this world right now. Especially since they're trying to make everybody live in a street, like dogs. Just so they could put them in um, cages and then use them for whatever they want to do. What are they going to use them for? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to be there and find out. I do not want to be part of any of that shit. That's none of my business. I'm not a participated person in the whole generational wealth thing. But that's just me. That's how I view everything. You can take what you will from this video. I don't know. Um, that's just how I feel about shit. You gotta, be, you kind of gotta be careful with it because, um, you know, generational wealth is just one of those things where, um, the fuck are you doing right here, bro? Oh, that's married. That's married. That is married. I haven't gone and separated my hair in like a fucking month, but I haven't washed my hair in two weeks either, so. Mm -hmm. If I twisted it, it'd probably look a little bit longer, but at the same time, I'm okay with this length right here. Except for the whole, like, if I, if I don't pull this shit forward and I lay back, I'm just going, ah, and, and then, like, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I'm gonna snap my own neck without realizing. Anyway, that's what I got about that. So, just understand, if you're going to create generational wealth, there's gotta be something there as a check or a balance, like the government should use, but they never do. Um, a check or a balance to keep everything straight, because if you do not, it's going to, it, it, I mean, like, it's going to um, rupture and work against the family line anyway. And the worst part about it is, it's only going to really, blah, 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 blah. it's going to flip on you when you're back in the rotation of this reality. And that's the reason why they call it generational wealth. Um, the generation will hold the wealth for you until you get back. And then most likely what's going to happen is um, you're going to be your reincarnated self, the part of you that has the fragment of you that now is activated and you are now here again. Um, kind of. It's that Soma game shit. You want, like, if you, like, if you under, like, I don't know, I, I, like, I, I need to accumulate all of these. I think I need to put them all under magical one-on-one -on -one shit or whatever, but I'm not even sure if I should call what I'm talking about with this stuff anymore magical, because it's, like, it really doesn't have anything to do with magic as much as it is, like, you know, well, I guess it could. I guess it could if you look at it in that sense, but it's, like, um... It's not even magical. This is like shit I read in the Bible. Because it's like David. Remember David? And then he, he stole that dude's wife. His generational wealth, he did develop a lot of children. And each and every one of them died horrible deaths. That's what he inherited as his wealth. A lineage of dead children that he should have never had to begin with. You know, I'm just saying, like,
Like, what was it like? One of his, I think one of his sons was, like, riding on a horse or something. And he had long, beautiful, I think, golden hair. And at some point, he rode by a tree. And then his hair got caught in the tree. And it either broke his neck or it snapped his neck off of his body. And the horse kept going. And he just, his body fell over. I can't remember which one it was. But I remember that was one of the things. And it was just like, holy fucking shit. Niggas' sons can't have anything, can they? You know, like, that's kind of how it's feeling. But it's like, that's what his generational wealth created. A slew of people who should have been dead. You know, because um, technically those children weren't even supposed to be David's. They were supposed to be uh, Bathsheba's husbands. But Bathsheba's husband was murdered by David. So why shouldn't her children meet a terrible demise, much like the man who should have been their father? And had that stolen from them just so they could be raised in the generational wealth of another man. No, the Lord said, no, 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 no. You don't get to keep carrying on um, this plague of bloodline that was built off of murder, lust, and opportunistic tendencies. No, I'm getting rid of all of them one by one. And David, you're going to get the watch because you're the reason why this is all fucking happening. Oh, it, it, your children shouldn't pay for it? Well, your children shouldn't even be your children. Your children should have been another man's. But unfortunately, you killed that man and took his place. You took the wealth that he was supposed to inherit that I had for him because you liked how his woman looked taking the bath, soaked up and shit. You don't get to keep none of them. That, that's what you inherited with your generational wealth. This is your generational wealth. Death. That's what you inherited. That's... Pretty much how it goes. You, like, you kind of got to be careful with that shit. Like, the sins of the father always carry over. Always. Um, people don't like that idea at all. They, they, they say, like, this is an innocent person. This is, it, like, they had nothing to do with that. I don't even need to say anything to that. I don't. <coughs> 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 nope. <coughs> nope. Okay. <coughs> but yeah. I ain't got nothing <coughs> to say to that part. Because. Uh, <coughs> that's an appeal to authority. <coughs> I rarely beg that motherfucker for shit. I'm not going to, like, ask him questions, situations I have nothing to do with. But that's the video on generational wealth and how I feel about it. So add in what you want. I don't know. like, But that's normally what I perceive in this reality of what happens with generational wealth. It just goes down some pre... It, it, it goes down the ways. It goes down the ways. But take for what you will from that. Just keep that in mind. Um, but I, but it's it, it's just an absolute treat. I will talk more about like how people come back another day because that's kind of important. Um, I'm probably gonna start putting like more controversial um, thought under the membership. If you ever get interested in that, um, that's up to you. I don't even I don't even know what would even be set up under that shit. Now I I did have a series a few series under there. I need, actually need to go back. Yeah, I, I actually um, need to go back in and look at all of those videos to figure out what the fuck I was doing with half of them because it's just like what the fuck was I even doing? Like, because I know there were some stuff that like, got set up there, but I wasn't able to finish a lot of them because it was like, uh. Okay, I'll do this first. I will do that first. When do I get to go back to what the fuck I was... Oh, I need to do this. Okay. But I kind of realize now why I had to wait because it makes way more sense. Um, I didn't have the experience, the wisdom, or the knowledge, and I didn't need to shut my mouth up at that time, and I appreciate that, although it was the most frustrating shit ever. 
absolutely. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You have a good day. I'll probably do a reading tonight or sometime. I don't know. I need to get started on the January reads, but... Nah, we'll figure it out later. Anyway, love your face. You be safe. Stay suspicious. Don't cop bites.